Those your shoes, Rob? My shoes. Yeah. We made it! Look at this beautiful surrounding. The real west coast. Kitty's stuff. What? Kitty's makeup. <laughs> Lots of muscles around yeah. to help us, right? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> no, 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 no. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I can take that cooler for you, man. Okay, so first evening um, at Murphy Sport Fishing Lodge in Kaikut. What do you think? I think I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, it took a long time to get here, and uh, we had dinner right away, and now we are fishing. Um, <laughs> Hopefully, we're, we're actually just going to be fishing for a couple of hours. Um, Three hours, right? Yeah. Targeting yep. Chinook. So hopefully we get some. Um, I'm really confident in uh, David's skill. So let's see how this this plays out. So Kitty, when it's one bite, sir, you yeah. just come to the rod, reel down hard. Yeah. Until it pops off, keep reeling until it's tight. Yeah. Take it out, loosen the drag. Okay, how much do you want me to loosen? Just like just two turns? Half turn, yeah. Half turn? Half turn. Okay, so it's moving real, real, really quick. Here real, real quick until it pops, right? Okay. You're gonna keep reeling until it's tight, right? Yeah. And then take it out. Yeah. Right, and then when it's real tight, loosen the drag like half a turn, and you're Can good you to go. Just, you don't need, don't need a set. Because it's already popped it's already, from reeling? Yeah. From reeling. Okay, actually though, honest to God, if I am throwing up later, can you please not film it? What? We have to film that no. stuff. No, Dave. That's the good stuff. Uh, it's reality internet. It's, yeah, it's, I don't want to throw up. I, film I will it. be crying. <laughs> That's the get worst. the projectile and everything. Right? Uh, that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Losing drag. She's losing the drag. Did I loosen it enough? Well. Oh, oh my gosh! This is nothing like I've ever. What is going on here? Do I just let it run? How much longer? Did I loosen? I hope I loosened it enough. It was it towards me? I hope I didn't lose. No, I didn't lose it. So 10 minutes into it. Uh, no, like 30 Literally. seconds into it. I haven't had a Chinook play like that in a really long time. Yeah. Normally, we're just reeling and they're coming in and not being difficult. But this one is a firecracker already. I, <laughs> I didn't expect this to be like this quick. One rod, one. We didn't, yeah, we just, it was like the first rod. And, Oh, actually, I actually wonder how it doesn't feel too big. I hope I didn't lose it. But well, when they pop with it, rig is it's usually pretty nice. Just like this, like slow. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I can't wait to see what it is. This will be my first salt chinook of the year, is it? Yep. Mm -hmm. I believe so. I really don't feel anything. Don't feel anything. Nope, he did get away. It did, it got away? Yeah. That was a good, good hit, eh? That was nice one. Beginning there, you got a little bit tight. A little bit tight? Yeah. Like when you were cranking? Yeah. Like you should have been, you, Just went, slower? you went a little bit too far. Too far, what like do you mean, sir? You got too tight oh, on the thing okay. there before you got the drag off. So it could have been like, because he had already popped off, you didn't have to help him. Okay. So it was... Oh my gosh, let's get more. Okay, Rod. Yeah. If that next rod goes off, can I drop the camera? Yes. I'll Thank you. Nice job. 
Yeah. So we got 15, 20 minutes into it. Yeah. Second fish. Not even 15, not yeah. even 20 minutes. And feels pretty nice. We we're just talking about where these fish are heading to, and uh, they were saying that they they go everywhere. Um, they come in here because come in the shallows because there's lots of food in here for them to eat. So they come in and feed before they head up to the spawning ground. And here it comes. This is ridiculous. It's not very big. This no. is insane, Rod. Oh my gosh, I am going to lose the camera. Yeah, it's tiny. What? It's tiny. How tiny? This one popped off too, eh? It's like maybe less than 10 pounds. Well, oh. you know what? You have to work for the small ones to get the big ones, Rod. How big is that one? Yeah. Well, 10. It's still hard to get in though. Yeah. First thing you do is protect your teaser head. Nice workout. Well, let's get a bigger one. It's kitty turn now. Ooh, here you yeah. go. Alright. A little, little bumpy today, but that's alright. <sighs> We're getting our sea leg workout. Yeah. Nope. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Rod, your turn. <laughs> what is it? I don't want to be lighting. Okay, well, this, this yeah. is not right. Yeah. Is it, is there small ones around here because we're closer in or maybe, is there a reason why there's small ones right around Those here? Those are mature fish. Those are going to spawn. They're just, they're just smaller than the other ones. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. So you got fish that are two years old, three years old and four years old. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And the big mystery is how many little ones are coming every year. Mm -hmm. And you don't know until you start fishing. And apparently there's lots of little ones this year yeah. going to the river. So, yeah. which if there's lots of little ones this year, it means there's more big ones. More big ones next year. year. Yeah. yeah. It's good to see. It's when you don't catch any little ones, yeah. then you know the next year coming. Yeah, exactly. It would be bad, yeah. yeah. It's not fighting like a salmon, but we never know. Hey, you know what? It might be another deep sea ocean surprise part two. Yeah. What does it feel like, Rod? <laughs> it's like a bit weight right now. It's oh, a salmon. It's quite gonna take, it's gonna take off. Yeah. It's yeah. going to wake up. It's not very big. Okay, get right over there and have a look. Get right to the side. Right? Oh, look. That's a nice one. Maybe you keep that one? Or? Yeah, you'll keep that one. We're going with the current and having a hard time getting yeah. slow. Okay, you got a rod. It's still in the water there, Rodney. Rod, 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 Rod. You got that one? Oh, no, no. Am I down, Rigo? I just couldn't tell which way it's going. Still got it? No, it's out. Okay. Lift his head up, lift his head up. Hey! Well, first fish into the boat. Woo. So that fish didn't actually bite very hard at all. He actually came with the current. So we couldn't tell how big it was, and in fact, it's it's fairly decent. It's about 14, 15 pounds. Yeah, nice fish. Yeah, nice fish. All right, so first fish of the day, of the evening, roughly around 15 pounds, and got the second one behind me going right now. It's awesome. Dave, I thought you said you were saving one for me. What is this? We were just drifting in the fish. What is this? Sorry. Okay. Alright, well my arms are sore, so the kitty's gonna take over the next fish. Wait, your arms are sore already? I'm just pretending my arms are sore. Oh sure, no <laughs> <Yeah>. he's not. <laughs> Rod, how, how are you feeling? I ate too much dinner. He ate too much dinner. I think it's my 
when it landed that food, I smelled that chinook, and I kind of just... Oh, I told you, if you open that up... This always happens. Not every year, sometimes. No, this happens every ocean trip. You're the only one. First and only. It's actually the gravel's working too well right now. <laughs> Everyone, shake your head if you want to see Rod Barf. Oh. <laughs> Going with the tide? Let him go. Oh, he's trying so hard. Ouch. Big fish. No. Whatever this one is, we're keeping it because. The otter, look at it. The down? The otter, look at it. Oh, a fish, we have a fish on. Fourth time's the charm. Actually, this will be the, yeah, fourth. Yeah, this is the fourth one, Fifth, right? fifth, because I landed one and lost three. Mm. Just keep reeling slowly. Great. It was. I told I needed to practice. I was warming up. I knew those ones were too small, so I was, like Sean said, long distance release. This one's really, really beautiful. Probably the last fish of the night. Fish, last fish of the night uh, before we go and head in for some dessert. Uh, great start to Cayuca. Uh, Dave kept us so busy on our toes with um, all the fish that we're hitting, and I am super pleased. It is nice to kind of get one checked off on our on our few days here, during our few days here. Nice work. Oh my goodness, perfect.